the importance of child discipline in honoring your parents. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. For parents, law, children are in heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Psalm chapter 127, verse 3. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26. To chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 18. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with a rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with a rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 13 to 14. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 15. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 17. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. He that chastiseth his son shall have joy in him, and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he hath left one behind him that is like himself. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him, and when he died, he was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies, and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels shall will be troubled at every cry. And horse not broken becometh headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. Cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Laugh not with him, staff of sorrow with him, unless thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not at his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on the sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thine heart. Chastise thy son, and hold him to labor, lest his lewd behavior be an offense unto thee. Ecclesiastes chapter 30 verses 1 to 13. Four children. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may belong upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 11 to 12. Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 1. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 22. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 3. Honor thy father with thy whole heart, and forget not the sorrows of thy mother. Remember that thou wast begotten of them, and how canst thou recompense them the things that they have done for thee? Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verses 27 to 28. Hear me, your father, O children and do thereafter, that he may be safe. For the Lord hath given the father honor over the children, and hath confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins, and he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children, 
and when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. He that feareth the Lord will honor his father, and will do service unto his parents, as to his masters. Honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of the father establisheth the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, help thy father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. For the relieving of thy father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sins it shall be added to build thee up. In the day of thine affliction it shall be remembered. Thy sins also shall melt away, as the ice in the fair warm weather. He that forsaketh his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is cursed of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 to 16. If we will discipline our children, they will cry now, but they will enjoy in the future. If we will not discipline our children, they will enjoy now, but they will cry in the future. Children are the future of our country, but if they will grow old without discipline, what will be the future of our country? All of the bad habits of an adult are those that were not corrected or disciplined when he was just a child. We have to raise children who fear, love, and obey God. I took a piece of living clay and gently formed it day by day. I came again when years were gone. It was a man I looked upon. He still that early impress war, and I could change him nevermore.